Besties, I have one question and one question only. If you saw me in a bookstore, would you fall in love? Got spooky earrings, t-shirt, glitter, graphic liner. What do we think? Would you fall in love? Would you think she gives good book reviews? I can already tell. Because that's all I need to know. I was at the grocery store yesterday, which let's be honest, is the beginning of my villain arc because I hate the grocery store. But I was there, unfortunately, but I saw decaf dark roast coffee and I have anxiety. So I have some. You know what that means? Get yourself a cup of coffee and have some with me. Let's hang out. Mine's cold, so therefore I hate myself right now, but it's fine. Have a better cup of coffee than I will and let me live vicariously through you. With that being said, it's time to hang out. So let's set the mood. What color were you thinking today? I usually go for purple. We have yellow, blue, purpley, we got a green, and an orange that looks like nothing. And we got a white that doesn't look white. I'm going for blue. We're going for blue. All right, now that we set the mood, let's get into today's video. As you know, I have been in a reading slump for a month now. I know a moment of silence to grieve. Today I thought it would be fun to get out of that reading slump by picking up a couple books that I really think that I'm going to enjoy. I see a lot of people rave about constantly and I think will be just fun to read in general. So I'm going to pick the books out and then we are going to read the first chapter of each one and then by the end of this video I should have a book to read. I'm so excited about it. I'm going to vlog me reading it. It's going to be a whole thing. So let's get started. Okay, friends, I officially have picked my list. I have three ebooks and I have four physical copies. A couple of them are big boys, actually. Let's get started. Ebook wise, I have The Plain Bad Heroines. All I know about this one is it's super long, it's set in 1902 and the early 2000s. So there's two different time periods and it is about a secret club called Plain Bad Heroine Society. And it's dark and I see the word bodies and victims. Okay. Next on the list is Legend by Marie Lu. What once was the Western United States is now home to the Republic, a nation perpetually at war with its neighbors. Born into an elite family in one of the Republic's wealthiest districts, 15-year-old June is a prodigy being groomed for success in Republic's highest military circle. Born into the slums, 15-year-old Day is the country's most wanted criminal, but his motives may not be as malicious as they seem. Okay. From very different worlds, June and Day cross, have no reason to cross paths until June's brother, Matthias, is murdered and Day becomes the prime suspect. Okay. It's kind of sci-fi dystopian fantasy, which is something that I don't typically go for. And that's why I picked it because I want to branch out of my comfort zone. So I think this is going to be a really good one. I've heard very good things about it. I just know nothing about it. The first physical book I have is Empire in the Sand. Now this one says magic is in her blood. A nobleman's daughter with magic in her blood an empire built on dreams of enslaved gods. Mare is the illegitimate daughter of an imperial governor and an exiled Amrithi mother she can barely remember but whose face and magic she has inherited. She can manipulate the dreams of the gods to alter the shape of the world. When Mare's power becomes the attention of the emperor's most feared mystic, she must use every ounce of will, subtlety, and power she possesses to resist their cruel agenda. And should she fail, the gods themselves may awaken seeking vengeance. Next on my list is... A Little Life. I heard that it made everybody cry, and now I want to see. A Little Life follows four college classmates, broke, adrift, and valued only by their friendship and ambition, as they move to New York in search of fame and fortune. While the relationships, which are tinged by addiction, success, and pride, deepen over the decades, the men are held by their devotion to the brilliant, enigmatic Jude, a man scarred by an unspeakable childhood trauma. A hymn to brotherly bonds and a masterful depiction of love in the 21st century. I think I would like that. Last but not least, We Hunt the Flame. I picked this up and I am so excited to read this bad boy. I've heard nothing but good reviews about it. I see a lot of people reading the second one right now and it just made me feel like I was missing out. So this says, people lived because she killed. People died because he lived. I don't know how to pronounce her name. I will look it up, but Zafira, Zafira is the hunter disguising herself as a man when she braves the cursed force of the Rs to feed her people. Nasir is the prince of death, assassinating those foolish enough to defy his autocratic father Father, the salt tan. If Safira is exposed as a girl, all her achievements will be rejected. If Nasir displays his compassion, his father will punish him in the most brutal of ways. Safira and Nasir are legends in the kingdom of Arawiya, but neither wants to be. War is brewing and the Ars sweep closer with each passing day, engulfing the land in shadow. While Zafira embarks on a quest to uncover a lost artifact that can restore the magic to her suffering world and stop the Rs, Nasir is sent by the Sultan on a similar mission, retrieve the artifact, and kill the hunter. 
but an ancient evil stirs as the journey unfolds, and the prize they seek may pose a threat greater than either can imagine. <laughs> so that's seven books. Let's go ahead and read the first chapter of each of them, starting in order, and let's see which one we want. Clearly, I'm getting comfortable. The first one I'm reading is Plain Bad Heroines. I'm gonna be here for a while, aren't I? <laughs> I don't know why, but I didn't anticipate this video taking so long. The first sentence is pretty good. It's a terrible story, and one way to tell it is this. Two girls in love in the fog of wasps cursed the place forever after. Okay. That sounds pretty good so far. Not gonna lie. Okay, friends, I just finished Plain Bad Heroines. That was like 30 pages or so have a all-knowing narrator who is quite funny to be honest and she's basically telling the story of Clara and Flo. She was just kind of describing the the details that led up to their death but she's also discussing the different um, theories and recounts that people have about that day. A lot of the details are really ambiguous and uh, unknown, essentially. Next on the list is Legend by Marie Lu, and that's about 16 pages, so I'm going to begin reading Legend now. Okay guys, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I am really comfortable, so I'm just gonna do the update from here. I read the first chapter of Legend, which follows Day, and essentially Day is one of the two main characters in this book, and he is a wanted fugitive. Day's family thinks that he is dead. He is not dead, and he has just been surviving on his own with a friend of his for some time now. Every so often, he checks in with his family from afar. He kind of just like visits their house and doesn't really let them know that he's there. He hides, and he watches to see the soldiers take their rounds because there's a plague going around, killing thousands and thousands of people. And he's checking in on his family to see if anyone has, has the plague yet because, of course, he has his mother and two brothers to worry about. So one day, he is watching his family and the soldiers to see whether or not they're going to mark the door and the mark is basically the soldier's way of indicating this house is plagued stay away. So he's watching it with his friend and, and finally after hours the soldiers get to his, his family house. Usually it's a quick visit but he's nervous because after an hour they still haven't come out yet and then eventually they do mark their door but they mark it with a symbol that Day has never seen before and he has no idea what it means and that's where the chapter leaves off and it sounds really good. Hi Binky. Empire in the Sand. 18 pages. So I'm gonna read that and I shall be back. Okay all this reading is making me sleepy. It's suddenly dreary out and um it's making me tired for sure, but we're gonna push through. It's the middle of the night when Mare's servant comes to her and says, hey, your little sister thinks that she saw a demon. Please come to help her. She goes to her little sister and finds out that there is a demon. The sister is crying, upset, scared. So obviously Mare handles it and she realizes the demon's actually a peaceful demon. It's just kind of a, a bird spirit. It's nothing malicious. It's kind of just like interested in her. So she cuts her hand and she offers up some of her blood, Mare's blood, to the demon and the demon and kind of goes on its way. Essentially the main character Mare explains to her little sister that they have that spirit blood passed down through them. Her little sister was completely unaware that she had partial spirit in her blood so she was taken aback and confused and scared. But Mare is just like, no, it's fine. It's just a part of who we are. We got this through mom. Essentially, the next day, Mare meets with her mentor and the mentor basically says that she has to go away for a little while because she's attracted too much attention and what she does is not necessarily legal. So she says, hey, I'm gonna be going for a little bit. I'll write to you though. And Mare, like, hey, a bird spirit came to my sister last night and it was this specific bird. And I think that that means that it's like an omen or a message is coming. Um, and they called it the storm. And that's when the mentor was like, oh, well, I guess I'm gonna have to stay around for a little bit because storm means that we need to like dance and do this celebration and this ritual. And so, yeah, that's where chapter one ends. Uh, it was really good. It was really interesting. I, I definitely want to read more of it. I'm not sure if it's the one for me right now, but it does definitely look good. Next I'm gonna be reading chapter one of We Hunt the Flame. Okay, so I just read 
first chapter of We Hunt the Flame. So this follows the main character and she's in the middle of the forest tending to one of the tasks that she has to do. But essentially she gets kind of caught and she's afraid that they're going to see that she's a woman. She's not a hunter, she's a huntress because she dresses as a man purposefully to go undetected. And they stop her and they're just like, hey, stop, we need to take you into this guy. He wants to talk to you. And she's like, um, no. There's a big chase scene that she's struggling with because this horse does not want to listen to her commands whatsoever. He's spooked, he's terrified, he's just, I'm out. While she's in the woods, she happens to come across what she thinks might be an apparition or might just be a kind of crazy woman in the woods. She's not too sure, but the woman knows things about her that no one else knows. She immediately knew that the main character was a huntress. She immediately knew her full name and she called her a cursed child. So that was interesting. I'm doing a horrible job of explaining this because I didn't quite grasp it. And I'm not sure if like my mind was wandering or like I said, I'm, or I'm just tired, but I really liked this, but I feel like I need to read it again to let it soak in. And I'm sorry that I did a terrible job explaining it. <laughs> I just ended up reading the first 16 pages of A Little Life. Starts off in the beginning with two of the four men, their apartment hunting at the moment, and they actually get denied, unfortunately, for the place. From there, it ends up switching to a perspective of all four of the men meeting up at a restaurant to kind of talk about everything. And they discuss the fact they need to find an apartment as quick as possible. We see pieces throughout the 16 pages about their personality. We have JB, who's more um, self-absorbed, and he kind of ropes all of them into doing weird projects with him. Like right now, he's obsessed with making hair sculptures. On the weekends, he drags them all out to different like hair cutteries and barbers trying to just grab fistfuls of cut hair to make sculptures and they just begrudgingly go with him and then there's Jude and on the back I saw that Jude actually has a scarred and unspeakable childhood trauma so we don't really see much of him other than uh, the beginning scene but yeah so far it's really good I liked it a lot so with that being said we have to decide what book we're reading this week. <laughs> this is actually gonna be much more difficult than I expected because I was expecting one to really stand out to me. However, I enjoyed reading all of them. Plain Bad Heroines, I really did enjoy. However, I think it's one of those books I have to be in the mood for and devote all of my time to to make sure that I'm understanding everything because it's a really entertaining narrator and a very flowery, decadent kind of writing style. I feel like I wanna take my time with that one. I'm thinking about picking up on Audible, to be honest with you. From there, we have We Hunt the Flame, Empire of Sand, A Little Life. I think I'm going to cast out Empire of Sand. Legend I really like, but I did find that it was a series, so I'm not sure if I want to dive into just a multiple book series right now, so I think I'm going to cast Legend to the side. <laughs> this is so hard! Okay, A Little Life and We Hunt the Flame. A Little Life is apparently sad and heart-wrenching. They're on a quest. Oh, man, should I... Oh, mm. no, maybe I should, oh no. <laughs> no, we hunt the flame, I'm doing it. We hunt the flame. That is the final decision here, people. I'm going to read it and it's gonna be amazing and I'm not gonna regret my decision. Let me know in the comment section below which one you would have ended up choosing. And also let me know your thoughts on we hunt the flame. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Is it on your TBR? Is it not on your TBR? If you had a good time hanging out with me, don't forget to subscribe. I do videos every week and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one.